Hey guys, Chevy here again. So I got the, oh man, I don't even know what to call this anymore. It's gonna be a booger hook, but we're just calling it shit box bed or shit bed or chevette, whatever. But I think I'm gonna try and peel the rest of the body off this thing tonight. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with the back bumper. I pulled the gas flap all off already. I'm gonna start taking some screws out of this. I'll pull the rest of this plastic junk out. On the other car, I'll, I'll show you if I remember, but I saved a lot of this tub and it's really nice. But uh, we'll see. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this one yet. I'm gonna take it apart a lot nicer. So I don't cut the freaking fuel lines or the wiring harness in half over there would be really nice. So I'm gonna not go in very far or very deep. Take the back bumper off nice and I'm gonna grandpa said he wanted this top part. Which I I'm gonna keep the tail lights, so I don't know if he really wants it or not. But we'll see. terrible whoo I almost dropped you that's all the junk that's on the back of one of these holy cow big old gas tank big old bumper assembly look at that antenna junk we get rid of so much of this Okay guys, I got the fuel lines unhooked. Well, I got the feed and the return unhooked. This vent, I don't know if it goes up. I think it does. Dang it. I don't know where it goes up there. But anyways, I'm gonna unbolt this cradle. I got the wiring unhooked from this too. I'm gonna unbolt this cradle that holds the tank. I think I'm gonna take this unit out of this gas tank and maybe replace this filler neck with that one just cut down the stuff it would be nice to be able to use that tank so i bought that for the other car but that's perfect if i can make this fuel injection pump and whole cinder unit assembly work in there that would be excellent so i think i'm going to give that a solid shot if not i'm just going to mount that stupid tank up there for right now but it looks terrible up behind the seats if you lay it up here it fits but it's like it's, it looks terrible Especially without the hoop on this one, it's gonna look really bad. But anyways, gotta let the air compressor charge up. Take these stupid bolts out up here.
junk. Get out of here. Okay, got a fresh battery. Oh, oh, it's terrible noise. Sand, boys. It's gonna look terrible, but it's probably after a month. such a weight reduction just well it was in a, a rollover accident just gotta smack the thing a couple times it'll lose 10 pounds <laughs> dirt all that dirt from the other front liner <laughs> Exhaust better too. I mean, all this valid points. Dude, look at this little, it's like a little truck right there. Put your yeah, put your right there. It is. <laughs> oh, dude, I didn't even think about that. Our Aussie is so proud of us. I'm playing Odyssey joke. Yodis it's a proper you. You ought to see what we're going to do with this thing later. It's a proper you. Yeah, I've been dropping some stinky, stinky parts over there. Get out of here. Oh, well, at least over there. Hey, come on. Don't, don't screw up your fuel pump with everything. This is the way. You got a sledge. That works too. <laughs> Free. Whoa! Looks a lot lighter than. What, I mean. Look at this thing! Would you look at it? Look at Would you just look at it? Look at Gotta get a thumbnail. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, back. Well, we got the whole back of this thing cut off. Just got that gas tank sitting up there for right now. I plan on moving that filler neck, but whoa. Did you see that? <laughs> Wee, over there, but anyways. Just gonna mount that there for right now like I did on the booger hook. But um, plan on putting that fuel pump and cinder unit and everything out of this tank in that other one. But I still have the tank out of booger hook, so I'll probably use that one. To get it ready so I don't have to take this down. I like driving it too much to make it not drivable. Anyways, that's where we're at right now. Dale's up there pulling all the unnecessary rubber and junk off of the firewall. Moving the, getting rid of the windshield squirter tank because it doesn't have one. Got Nate back here mounting some taillights up. So we'll have some street legal action coming your way. I'm going to give these fuel lines a twist, run a ratchet strap around that, call it good. I think we'll be good to go here pretty quick. It's exciting. You need to rip oh, we need to take the doors off too. That's the last uh, Ooh, thing of the car on the car still. We're jeeping it? I don't know if I want to take the doors off yet. <laughs> I really do want to take the doors off, but... I drive this to work at five in the morning. It's freaking cold. I run the heater. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I won't even act like I'm. I run the heater. I actually need a screwdriver, like seven or eight Allen's, and then. One One size fits all around here. <laughs> Like that. 
taken the I turned this over to Dale so it gets taken apart nice. So we don't have grounded out wires <laughs> everywhere. We're almost there too. Okay. Dale thinks he has the door ready to come off. Push the harness oh. out. Push those plug-ins through that hole. Speaker's probably still plugged in. Might have to give it a tug. Hmm. We're getting farther. Eleven twenty. You giving yourself ten minutes? Yeah. Okay. Eleven twenty. Oh man. Uh, NHRA approved gas tank hold down. Ooh yeah. Getting some screws in it, eh? Yeah. Screws and glass and junk everywhere. Oh yeah, the glass. I should pull the striker out, knock this fiberglass off. It sticks out pretty far. No doors. I don't really need it. I can buzz this flapper off too. Unnecessary. Yeah. I need to find the fuse box cover now. It's just hanging out in the breeze. Thanks for helping, guys. Pr appreciate it. I think I got the camber on this wheel fixed. Now that I could see the wheel, it was like when we pulled in here. Pulled some of the camber out. Made it. Oh, this one's got quite a bit, too. It's like that tire's going straight now. It was towed out and leaned in. It's towed out a little bit, but needs to be. Oh yeah, we'll be able to finally stop dropping the last one. No door to shut. They all got the other door off. Bam! Now we gotta take the mirror off it mounted on the car. He's gotta fish that harness back in and tie it up somewhere. The rubber? Yeah, let's chop it. See my shitty knife and do it. Shitty knife. We're gonna put the reverse lights on. I'm taking this very seriously. Think these are better?